hey guys welcome to the new video so in today's video i will just show you how to install linux okay you can also call it as linux or ubuntu docker uh, on your evng so basically i was performing network automation lab so i need a instance of linux where i can run um, python and ansible and i can automate the network <coughs> Uh, the networking stuffs like for example i have a cisco switch a cisco asa firewall if in case i want to uh, <clears throat> pull the interface configuration or in case if i want to create some vlan over switch i can automate the process okay so i'm not going into the network automation stuff how it works but i i assume you already know what is network automation but might be you are struggling how to get this done Uh, get this kind of setup done in uh, in inside EVNG. Okay, so basically you need to have Cisco switch as a firewall from the software center software dot cisco dot com, and this can be downloaded again from the Microsoft website. And if you check back my the previous video, I have <clears throat> made a video made made a video where I just showed up how Windows can be installed inside. EVNG. So today's video covers more more into Linux installation. Okay, so basically let let me show how how it looks like. So if I take the console of this, so this is my Linux platform. Okay. And this is this is the interface. and i just took the terminal okay so by default python 2 is not installed but yes with single command i can install it the good news is python 3 is installed by itself okay so if i just write the syntax okay so it's working the second important thing why i always prefer a linux image is say for example i have written some scripting today to pull a configuration or to create a vlan so next time when i come back the configuration remain saved inside the linux docker okay so that is a main advantage i go with ubuntu uh if if you are a gns uh user the you might have seen there are some uh, ready made appliances but there the configuration won't get saved up okay so you need some uh, real real, real uh, linux image and you need to install it and then you need to configure so basically if i write a script here or in case if i am having the ansible script so everything will be within this docker even if i reboot my laptop or restart my uh evng lab the things will be remaining okay so uh, let me close this and yes i can uh close everything i i will just show you how did i get this okay so basically i have written all the instructions here and you can find this below my youtube video description as well So let's start with step number one. That is to download Linux image. Okay. So the link is provided in the description box. Go to the link. Okay. Click enter. You will be provided with bunch of Linux file. So the one I preferred is Linux Ubuntu Desktop nineteen dot zero four dot tar dot gz. Okay. So I have mentioned it here. and it is almost 2.04 gb okay so once you are done with step number 1 the step number 2 says upload this downloaded image inside the evng path okay and this is the path so how do we do that so i make use of cyber duck application okay i'm running a mac os and i'm making use of cyber duck if in case you have a windows machine then you can go with filezilla or winscp so they are applicable 
so in my case is a macbook so i went with cyberduck okay i took the login access so this is my evng ip address that is 192.164.34.129 so i just took this the username is default uh, uh credentials the username is root password is eve e v e okay so then go towards the right path say let me show you from start okay so basically <clears throat> now you are under the public path or something uh, or i can say there is only a backward slash right so first click on opt go to unit lab go to add ons kemu create a new folder okay create a new folder called linux ubuntu desktop so how do i create just a right click new folder and you can just name whatever you want so once that is done now just drag and copy paste to this folder so for in my case i just dragged it okay so it start copying directly to the evng folder okay so once that step is done okay so what was that step the step was this uploading to the evng now this is a tar.gz format which has to be unzipped okay so once you unzipped you get something called dot qcow2 uh, file okay so let's stop these things okay okay so for example if i have this file now i have to unzip this so how do i unzip i will go to my evng vm okay so it's root and eve i will go to opt unit lab add on kemu linux okay and if i do ls i will see a tar file okay so the step to <coughs> unzip is type tar xcvf and the file name and enter so once you do this you will get the second file generated so basically i have done already that is why i am able to see the second file so that is virtuo.qcow2 okay so once you do that you can delete directly from here you can say delete we no need we no longer need that file we only need this file okay or second method is just type rm hyphen m hyphen f and the file name whatever file name that we want to delete so basically it was linux ubuntu so it will also it, it will do the same job that it will remove that i have written the cli command if you are okay with gui you can just right click and just delete that okay so once doing that please make a note that you fix permission that is step number 5 and the command is opt unit lab wrappers space hyphen a fix permission okay there is a typo error okay i got the issue so let me first come out of this okay there was a 
folder that got missed okay so don't miss out anything wrappers okay there was a typo as well okay so that that is why i will give you the exact command in the description box so don't make any typo and don't miss out any word so once that is done go to your evng uh interface by typing the ip address whatever ip address you have been provided for your evng okay and then you can just make this kind of network diagram or network topology and then i'll show you the things that you can do so for example i need to add one more linux box so i'll go to node okay i'll just scroll i'll go to linux okay and one thing to notice for the first time you need to follow some standard or uh, defined settings okay so this is one time uh, you don't have to do it again and again so for example so cpu remains 1 ram will become 512 ethernet will remain 1 and under qmu custom option the std will become qxl okay so basically this and this is a change over here and i have mentioned it okay so this as well as std to qxl then click on save it's over here right click and click on start so once it changed from gray to blue then take the console just single tap open okay so basically it's right now 512 mb of ramps which i never recommend once this uh, get properly booted up i am going to close this and i am going to increase the ram okay it is pretty much slower the reason is because of the low ram assigned to this okay so i'll just close this stop this okay go to edit and change from 512 to 2 gb okay or if you want 4 gb you are good to go so the more ram you assign it will perform more better now it's 2 gb start it take the console okay and i'll just show you if the python is uh, installed by default or we need to install it or if we need to install then what is the way to install python inside linux right so few things which should be striking your head so the default password is test123 i have mentioned here again okay So we 
data all code so by default we have python 3 so there is again a drastic change between python 2 and python 3 but yes there are few things which are compatible between both of them so yes that that's something which you need to learn okay so that's all for today's video i wanted to show you that how could you add linux inside evng so one one part of linux is something related to network automation might be if you need linux inside evng to carry out some other lab or practice session uh, then yes you can install or you can get a linux okay and i also told you there are multiple flavors of linux images found on this link okay so whichever suits you you can go with it so basically there are multiple things so i'm talking about other streams like someone who is coming from software development someone who is trying to uh, get get hands on on linux so for them okay if if you're solely looking for network automation then whatever we discussed is all good enough okay so have a nice day let's meet in the next